always recommend that if you have a cat or indeed any other pet that you leave very clear instructions somewhere prominent in your house about what should happen to the cat should you die or even should you be taken ill and unable to return to the house. So we have a poster called I Own A Cat which you can obtain from us or download from our website and just fill in some basic details about the cat, who's to be contacted in the case of an emergency and the cat's basic likes and dislikes and who the vet is. It just means that if anything should happen to you, your cat is safe, in the short term at least. If someone doesn't leave the cat to us and we're just being asked to help, the cat will join a waiting list of a, with a large number of cats on it and it may be many months before we can get to the cat. Quite often people will take cats to the vets and ask them to be put down um, because they can't find homes for them. People can actually um, leave their cats to us in their will, um, asking us to rehome their cats and we prefer that of course. Um, key options I suppose are leaving um, a pet in your will to a friend or a relative who you could trust to care for that animal. But more um, certain is really looking at a rehoming charity because they will ensure that that animal is well looked after. When you're thinking of asking a charity to rehome your pet, um, it's really important just in the same way you tell a friend or relative about your cat's likes and dislikes, it's really important for that animal that you're also telling the charity that. Now you can do that, not in your will, but in a letter called a letter of wishes that accompanies the will. If you want to leave your cat to us, you must do two things. Firstly, you must write it in your will that you want Yorkshire Cat Rescue to take and rehome any cats in your ownership at the time of your death. And secondly, we'd also like you to tell us that you've done this so that we can make a note on our database. This means that when we get a call from your nearest and dearest or from a solicitor acting on your behalf, we can check our database and we know that we've been informed and we can make immediate arrangements to get the cat or cats to, to our care. Once the cats come into our care, they'll be medically assessed and checked, as we would with any cat that comes in, neutered if that's not the case, and they'll, we'll make sure they're up to date with vaccinations, worming and fleeing, a microchip, etc. And then we will look for a, a home for the cat. If you can leave us information about your cat, such as its likes and dislikes, if it's used to other, other cats, children, dogs, etc., if it likes to go outside, as much information as possible, and also a vet who we can contact for medical history, that will help us find the right home for the cat and make sure it's settled there. But every cat that comes into our care is, um, stays with us for as long as it needs to until the right home is found. That could be several days, it could be several weeks, but we'll get there and we'll find the right home for that cat. Making more generous donations to charities is a great idea because it keeps those charities going and it enables them to rehome your cat. How it works in practice is you can give part of your estate um, away to the charity, so you could say a percentage of the whole estate. The other thing you can think about is giving a set amount of money to the charity. We've had legacies in the past from people that made a huge difference. We've been able to improve our accommodation, um, particularly in our kitten house where we've now got much better um, bedrooms for the kittens where they're healthier. If you'd like to leave money um, for the cat rescue, you can specify what it's spent on. So for example, you could say you'd like money to be used to care for your cat whilst it's with us and then any balance to be used for other cats. Or you can just leave an amount for us to be used as we see fit and of course that will be used to help other cats and kittens in our care. gift in your will to charity is a great thing to do but there's so many charities out there I think it's difficult for us to know where we should direct our money to. Uh, look locally as well as the national charities and I think the most important thing is to talk to the charity and get in touch with them and find out what their needs are. So having decided on local or national charities they're always willing to talk to people um, and they would like to know, particularly if you're going to be asking them to rehome your cat, um, they would like to know that that's what you're intending and they want to give you information about how they'll go about doing that.